Fusa, the new rhythm game from Harmonix, is the developer's most ambitious title yet, and the one that most closely resembles the music creation that it's trying to emulate. Its incredible remixing tech will have you entranced, and is the thing that kept me sane over the last few days of the election. Harmonix are the masters of rhythm games, Amplitude, Guitar Hero, Dance Central, Rock Band. They're the geniuses behind them all. Fusa is a new game that is all about remixing existing songs, and is a more accessible alternative to their tabletop game Dropmix, which uses playing cards with NFC chips and a board that connects to your phone or tablet. In Fusa, you will have four different slots for tracks. By default, these slots are for beats, rhythm, lead, and vocals, although you eventually are able to use the slots for whatever type of track you like. You play as the DJ, selecting the vocals from Billie Eilish's Bad Guy or the drums from Justin Timberlake's Rock Your Body, along with a variety of other songs to build out your set. Over the course of the campaign, which has you hopping between different music festivals, new mechanics are slowly introduced to you, muting tracks, adding effects, changing the key or tempo, even creating your own beats. By the time the campaign is over, there's almost nothing you can't do in the game that you can do as a real DJ, minus the thousands of dollars in expensive equipment that that takes. So how does Harmonix build a game from all this? Like some of its previous rhythm games, it's all about gaining points to improve your star rating. Over the course of a set, you will be asked to complete specific tasks in a limited amount of time. Maybe you need to add the drum beat of a specific song or make sure no vocal track is present. On top of this, there will be audience requests, and completing them increases your bonus. The thing that ties it all together is timing. Swapping out a track on the downbeat gives you a points boost, or if you're really skilled, you can drop it on a pickup, which are the most opportune beats specific to that track, for not only massive points, but also to have your mix sounding like something you'd actually hear at a music festival. Juggling all of these things makes Fusa a surprisingly tough game, and while I've never failed a set, like I might have done with the Guitar Hero song on Expert, I have yet to get the max 5 stars on any mix, and I infrequently get 4 stars. You want your set to sound good, but you also want to keep the festival goers happy, but also understand you have set goals to achieve, and sometimes fulfilling one of these individual needs sabotages another. When you find and use a track that satisfies all three buckets at once, it's an immensely satisfying feeling. The better you perform in a set, the more track and style points you gain, as well as cosmetics for your DJ, which you can use to create a variety of looks and behaviors that you can save and swap out between sets. Style points can be used to purchase your own chosen cosmetics, and track points are for unlocking new songs. The customizations don't stop there. You can even change up your stage by choosing different light patterns or colors and even the types of fireworks. It's an incredibly in-depth system that allows for players to create the vibe that fits them the best. If you're a fan of rhythm titles, this is the best video game that scratches that itch that has been released in a long time. I'm very much looking forward, once the online is fully up and running, to partake in battles that pit your set against other players. With that, plus the freestyle modes, I see myself losing time to this game as much as I ever did with Guitar Hero and Rock Band.